Uh, for some of these chapters, it was, it was uh, fairly easy to set up. For example, for the nose, I start with the nose because about 80% of what we call flavor takes place in the nose. So I met this woman, Sue Langstaff, who's a sensory analyst and uh, a real character who she likes to ride. She rides a Harley, and part of what she loves about that is the air is blown up into your nose. Um, if you're just breathing regularly, you, you miss out <clears throat> on about 80% of the smells around you. Um, you really need to sniff or ride a Harley to get it up into the top of the nasal uh, cavity. And so she's this, um, she, she'll ride, she kind of sees the sights by smell and she'll, she can describe all of that, whatever's at Route 29, that one through Napa, all the smells along the way. So I, I, um, I hung out with her and, and we, um, she's a, she does a kind of olfactory forensics. It's pretty amazing. She's a consultant to the beer, wine, and uh, olive oil industry and she can, Somebody can bring her a batch of, say, olive oil and say, what is going on with this? It really smells awful. It's, it tastes it's really weird. Try it. And she can, it, you, the, the, the scents, the, the, the flavors, the smells that she's getting are these clues that tell her what exactly went wrong in the manufacturing process. For example, if somebody brings her a beer with a hospital smell, that's a sign she uses. Somebody had used uh, chlorinated water somewhere in the process. And... Um, olive oil, there's all kinds of, there's a, a defect called fustiness where you, your, your olive oil may uh, have a scent of manure, baby vomit, pig farm waste pond, and sewer dregs. I mean, it's just an unreal, hideous, and that means you've got some sediment in the bottom of your tanks that's rotted. So she can, it's not a glamorous job because you're, you're, you're dealing with products where things have gone wrong, but she has this amazing nose, uh, and, and I learned all about how people, it's almost like learning a language, another language, uh, where you, you, you learn to recognize individual components, you know, say a wine or a beer, uh, flavor components, and then, it, you, like, you, you learn them individually, and then when you taste the beer or the wine, you can actually pick these things out, which I thought was complete bullshit. When somebody goes, oh, I'm getting, yes, I'm getting black cherry with a hint of melon and burned cedar or whatever it is, I couldn't believe that people can really do this. But they can.